URL. I don't want to have to say any of this more than once. You have a smoke weed and it held on to the roach. Good. I'm going to keep this short and blunt. You see this right here? I've been purchasing pay-per-views all fucking year. Now, you can't see the rest of what was on this list. But believe me, it was all on there. The only event I didn't buy this year was the event y'all had in North Carolina. That's the only one I missed this year. Right? I've been blogging for three years on all the content y'all been putting out. You can see right here, I got Twerk vs. Suge all queued up, edited, all that shit. Was getting ready to drop it. Then Twerk vs. Chess getting ready to come out. Then Twerk is on Summer Madness 8. Now, all this is just like hitting me all at once, right? <clears throat> That's what I realized. I'm not even mad at Twerk. I never was. I don't know this nigga personally, so I don't hold no personal feelings towards the nigga. I'm not mad at the shit the nigga did. I'm disappointed in the nigga's actions, obviously. But I don't know him personally enough to be mad at the nigga and hate the nigga guts. And there's a lot of niggas that seem to just like, I just hate this nigga or I dislike him now or whatever the case may be. Fuck all that. We ain't on that kind of time. What I'm realizing is this. At a certain point, it stopped being about twerk and it stopped being about URL. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? You niggas is moving funny as fuck. Because as much as the fans was asking to not have this nigga on the card, y'all turn right around and put this nigga on Summer Madness 8. Now, am I trying to block this nigga's money? No. But I'm going to tell you what I do know. I'm smart enough to realize that you got to give the nigga a chance to atone for his mistakes. So I understand you still booking him to a degree. Because it's like, yo, you done made so many mistakes and so many errors. You got to prove to us that we can still book you and get our money's worth. And not only that, you can give us three rounds of solid material without choking or jersey or none of that shit. And we can rely on you. I realize that you got to give him the opportunities to prove that. Here's the problem. You niggas ain't even telling people that John John is locked up. Maybe it's not for y'all personally to tell niggas that John John is locked up. Maybe that's how y'all felt. But if you're booking battles and shit for Summer Madness 8 that got niggas on it that the fans is telling you not to put on the card, then you got a main event that look like it's not going to happen. And then you charging niggas $50 for it. This is shit that Caps is saying that I ain't even know. I wasn't following John John closely enough to realize that the nigga had just flat out dis-a-fucking-peared and shit. Mind you, I follow John John. <coughs> I seen that the nigga was having some issues between him and his girl. But I ain't realize how serious this shit was. So, my thing now is... I don't like how URL is moving. I don't like what you niggas is doing. I'm going to tell you what the fuck happened, though, because I see what y'all did. This is what y'all did. Do you know that all of America is rooting for you? Do you know that? And then you come in here and you treat this like a joke? Summer Madness 7 turned out to be a bad look. Smack jumps on camera and says, yo, I can't eat that. Okay, can't eat that. Good. We about to get some turnaround out this motherfucker. Right? That's good for the culture. That's good. Fans want to see that. Y'all niggas is just as disappointed as we are. Right? So I'm going to tell you what bailed you out. This whole strike shit. The, the battle is going on this fucking 20 minute strike. Y'all turn the strike upside down. And then y'all mark it off of it. That was smart. That was very fucking smart. And then it just seemed like you just kind of blew right past the fact that Summer Madness 7 was ass and just still booked twerk for Summer Madness 8 like niggas forgot nigga that shit wasn't that long ago now again I'm not trying to stop this nigga from making money I'm not even saying take the nigga off the card what I'm saying is I don't like how y'all niggas is moving because it is starting to look like it's just about the money and y'all don't really give a fuck what is y'all niggas doing so the battlers got to complain about you dropping their battles for you to drop them. You're not talking about John John, to be honest with the fans. 
and you still booking niggas that the fans are saying we don't want to see right now because we want quality material we want quality battles because that's what niggas is paying for and the culture overall regardless of the money deserves that much respect for you niggas to really just book the niggas that's coming to show and prove for every fucking battle every card you got Rada on stage wanting that get the fucking wreck with smack you know you know the saying that it's truth and every joke it's a little bit of truth and every joke the nigga on stage battling but it's a little truth in there somewhere otherwise he wouldn't have fucking said that shit be mindful of that so this is what I'm saying I'm just a lowly little blogger I don't mean a whole lot to the culture obviously niggas ain't checking for me every fucking way niggas is not watching every little move I make on my channel but I won't be blogging on y'all shit for the rest of this fucking year and I won't be purchasing any more of y'all fucking pay-per-views. No. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. 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 Hell no. 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 I refuse. No. No. Know why? Because I can't eat that. So, until you niggas go on Angry Fan or Champion, hell, my channel... Go sit with my nigga J Legend, some fucking body, the union. Until y'all go on somebody's channel and do an interview explaining why y'all moving, the way y'all fucking moving, and all the shit y'all got going on, and start giving the fans some fucking answers as to why this shit is happening. Even though we making comments, we tagging y'all, we tweeting y'all, and saying all this shit, I'm not supporting this shit. And I'm not gonna support it. Not the rest of this year. Not till you niggas start addressing some of this shit. You just lost $50 on this event coming up. You lost another 50 on the shit you got coming in December. We know it's some shit coming in December. I'm not fucking with it. RBE will be getting my bread. Because I see these niggas is moving respectfully. Then y'all tried to fuck over RBE early this year with that shit that they had going on. Y'all niggas just moving wild all the way across the board. I just... I can't fuck with it right now, bro. I'm sorry. I respect the culture. I advise you niggas to do the same. I say that at the end of all my fucking blogs. The reason I say that shit is because I grew up loving this shit. And I'm not going to tolerate all the fuck shit that niggas is doing in the background and on the side. So until you niggas make some changes, I'm going to make my own fucking changes. It's your man Fatboy signing the fuck out. I respect the culture. I advise you niggas to do the same. When you hear my voice stop, nigga, that's when that fucking beat drop. <laughs>